Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Left Shake Excel Master, and this is for our Shake video. And today's video is a little different than the regular videos what I'm making, because in this video we are going to find the missing sequence number from the list. Yes, you caught me right. We are going to find the missing sequence number from the list. Last week I got a message on my WhatsApp. And this friend, he got my number from the WhatsApp group. He threw me a question asking that, is it possible for me to get the missing sequence number? Well, uh, I said, yes, it is possible in Excel. Amazing video being placed by uh, Excel is fun. It is explained very nicely by Mr. Excel and by Excel is fun. Well, I thought, why not to explore this possibility with the Power Query? And Power Query can help us out getting this information. Well, this is a set of the data what I have it in my hand and these are the numbers and if you can see there are some numbers which are missing from the sequence. We would like to extract those missing sequence number and we would like to place exactly after that number like after 2 we must get 3 and after 4, 5, 6 and then 7, 8 and so on. Select the range, control T, my table has headers, no it doesn't have headers. And I'm going to call this as list, okay? And we're going to give our table name. And we're going to say it as list of numbers, okay? And we are going to go to our data, get and transform. Okay, many of my friends, they say me that for us, why don't you go and hit directly table slash ranges? Well, I always prefer to give my table name first and then I would like to go and get and transform. It's totally my personal choice uh, because anyhow, once you load the Power Query, you would still need to change the name over here. But benefit of putting it into a table, you don't need to change the name on the properties. Okay, so it has automatically applied step. We are just going to revoke back the step and we're going to call this as a whole number. And we are going to sort this list from A to Z. Yes. So here comes the part where you just need to do little brainstorming and you can get the output. So now what we will do my friends is that we are going to extract the max number from this list. And we are going to extract the min number from this list. Now once we have the max and the min number then I will show you what we are going to do. So I'm going to say reference and uh, I'm going to give its name as max number and we're going to go transform statistics maximum. So this is our maximum number. Again with the list of number I'm going to make a reference table and rename it to min number. And select the column, transform, statistics, and minimum. So we got these both value. We got the max and min number. Now suppose in your case you know the min number, then you don't need to generate this min number list. Okay, but in our case we don't know the max and the min number. Just let me show it to you. What do I mean by that? I'll just create only connections okay so we have our connections here but what about if our min number was starting from 10 okay that was our min number we don't need the list something generating from 1 so that's the reason we have taken the min number from this range and the max number and with the help of those parameters the min and the max we are going to generate a one list so this time i'm going to go to get data from other sources and i'm going to open a blank query and this blank query we're going to call as final output we're going to say equals to open curly brackets min number two time dot 
max number close curly brackets enter voila we got the list over here now if my min number starting from 5 just have a look it has been generating the list from 5 to 50 Control Z, we want from the min number to the max number, and we're going to convert it to the table. None, and we're going to add a data type as a whole number, and it should be into ascending order. That's great. Now, look what's the magic going to happen? We're going to merge this table, okay with final op and the list of numbers with the left outer join okay and we're going to expand the list we will uncheck this because we don't want the prefix of the column name great so we got these null values that is what we were looking my friends so now here comes the best part we're going to go to add conditional column. We're going to call this as missing numbers. And if my column list is equals to null, okay. Now what we are going to do is wherever is the null, we are going to pull the value from the column one. And I want it to return the column one. Great, otherwise we'll call it as null. Let it be happy. Wonderful. We are going to fill down. And we don't need this column anymore. Great. So we got all the numbers what we were looking for. I'm going to select this missing column and we're going to call it as text and we change this data type to text because when we group and we do the sum we want this column to give us an error because the original data source is of uh, a whole number so definitely when we will group up it will group up the values i'm going to select this list column and group by call this as missing list and the operation what we are going to do is sum and we wanted to sum the missing numbers now you must be wondering why did i do sum over here because we are going to do some changes with our end code and that's the secret what i'm going to show it to you so we'll go to go view advanced editor Okay, even I can just make the changes from the formula, but I would like to show it to you from the advanced editor. So here is our M code now. And we are going to just alter the formula by text dot combine. And we are going to say comma, open quotes, comma, space, close quotes. So the magic what we are doing over here. We are just replacing that list.sum with text.combine. So when the table is getting grouped, so each time the occurrence will come, the missing number, it will be grouped by a comma. As usual, you know, when I'm about to finish my power query, I will just play my favorite track and relax. Boom that is fabulous this is what is the power of the power query this is such brilliant thing and if you try to do it by vba it will take you a long long time and you'll be spending a lot of energy and efforts on that one so let me close and load too and let us have it on our worksheet over here and load awesome 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 this is a killer thing so let us put some random numbers so rand between 
from 20 to 100. That sounds good. Moving the fillet down. That looks good. And before I hit a refresh button, okay, I'm just going to copy these values and I'm going to paste it as a value. The reason why I'm doing it, because if I do not convert this formula into a value, as soon as I hit refresh, the values in the rand between will also get changed. So you cannot verify those entries. Right click here and refresh. Awesome. This is really cool. This is an amazing thing. Amazing thing. Let us try it again. Rand between. This time we'll take a high limit, comma, up to 300. Okay. Down. Copy. Again, paste those values. And right click. Refresh. Oh, <laughs> this is really cool. And I'm sure my friends, after seeing this video, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to try this power query technique. And I'm sure you're going to love this one. So as you can see, the column C is the list of numbers which are available over here. And the column D which are there, those are the missing numbers. Now you must be wondering why this list is small. So let us go and check. It has a duplicate values. Yes, it has a duplicate value. That's why the list is appearing small. Now, again, we'll refresh it because the length of this list should be equal to this list only. So now it is coming fine. Now let us go and edit our query by hard coding the min number as we have learned earlier. And we'll go to our source. And we are going to say our min number is 1. So now the list has been got generated from 1 to the max number. And we are going to say go home, close and load. <laughs> As you can see, it has extracted those numbers which are missing. I can just wrap it up. This is really insane. So pull it back to run between from 10 to 100. Okay, so we're going to go back. Again, we got a number which is a duplicate. Oh, this time we got many duplicates. Again, oh, this time we got an entry which is not a duplicate one. So we're going to copy it, paste, and paste as values. So I'm just going to change it manually, these numbers. Okay. So let us wrap it back our query. So before I upload it, I shouldn't forget that I have to put the min number. I'll go back to my source and I'm going to see min number. That's look good. Close and load. That's it my friends. This is the way how you find the missing sequence number. And I'm sure that you have enjoyed this video and equally I have enjoyed it when I was making it. So all you have to do is push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update. And as usual I'll be keeping the soft copy on my Facebook group page so you can download from there and you can just have a look on the steps and why not give it a try by yourself and power up the skills with the power query. Signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh from FSheikh Excel Master. See you soon. Happy learning.